In 2022, Mali ordered French troops to leave the country, ending the anti-jihadist Barkhane mission, which had been ongoing for a decade. In February 2023, Burkina Faso took the same action, kicking out French forces and ending the defense military pact it had with France since independence. In October 2023, Niger, one of the last standing hold of French forces in the Sahel, ended its defense agreement with France and ordered them to leave. And by December, the last French forces had left the country. All these moves signify that France has lost its hold on the Sahel. Everybody knows that except France. France has refused to give up on the Sahel and has been looking for different ways to turn things around. Unfortunately for them, none of these tactics have been working. Recently, Burkina Faso expelled three French diplomats from the country for subversive activities. According to the message sent by the Burkinabe Foreign Ministry to the French Embassy, three were declared persona non grata and told to leave the country in 48 hours. The three diplomats include Gwenaël Habouzi, Hervé Fournier, and Guillaume Reissacher. The word subversive in the dictionary means the act of undermining the authority and power of an already established system. So what the Burkinabe military government means is that these three diplomats were engaging in activities that would cause chaos and destroy the government of Burkina Faso. Although the military government did not specify what kind of activities these diplomats engaged in, we can only imagine what they have done. In other words, these three diplomats were high-profile spies sent on a mission by the French government to undermine the authority and cause dissent in Burkina Faso. Who knows what they have done? Maybe they have tried to spread false information about Ibrahim Traore's administration to the people of Burkina Faso, because that is one tactic they have used over and over again to cause dissent in African countries since the time of colonization. Or maybe they have tried to infiltrate the military and incite dissent, which would lead to a coup to overthrow Ibrahim Traore. Again, this is something that France has done before. The possibilities of what these three French diplomats are endless, but fortunately they were caught and have been sent out of the country. The actions of these French diplomats speak of desperation on the part of France and bring to mind what happened in December 2023. On December 1, 2023, four French officials were arrested, charged, and imprisoned in the capital Ouagadougou. According to the Burkinabe military authority, these officials were actually French secret intelligence agents, but guess what? France denied it, saying that the officials were mere IT support staff. But we shouldn't be surprised, it's what happens. When these Western agents are caught doing questionable activities, and the country in question is called to answer for these agents, the agents are disowned, or they come up with a silly excuse as to why they are in the country. However, the Burkinabi authorities are smarter than that and have detained these spies. Currently, these spies are now under house arrest and investigations have been ongoing on the true nature of their activities in the country. The disclosure of these arrests has put French authorities in an awkward position leading to attempts by France to stop the spread of the news. It was reported that France reached out to the French media house that reported this news and tried to persuade them from publishing the news. The French Foreign Ministry also tried to download the incident, but regardless of how the French government tries to downplay the incident, it doesn't change the fact that these French spies have been caught and they are now in the custody of the Burkinabe authorities. France has since called on the immediate repatriation of its citizens to France, but the Burkinabe authority has refused, choosing instead to keep them in their custody and conduct an investigation into their activities in the country. Now comes the million dollar question, what have these spies been doing in Burkina Faso? What has the investigation into their activities revealed? The French spies revealed that there exists an extensive network of French agents across African countries, and their job is to provide aid to rebel groups involved in conflicts across the Sahel region. This is a bombshell. What this simply means is that France has been sending its agents to give support to rebel groups, including jihadists, who have been the major cause of insecurity and conflict in African countries. These agents are not just in Burkina Faso, they spread across the African continent. Obviously, the motive behind this is so that France can have a military presence in that country under the pretext of fighting terrorism. What a scam. Their military presence also ensures that they have access to critical minerals present in abundance in the country. 
The very idea that a foreign country can manipulate the security situation of the country for its political interests without regard to the effect it would have on the populace is essentially troubling. It's no wonder that despite the number of years spent by French forces in Mali, Niger, and Burkina Faso, the insecurity and conflicts persisted in each of these nations. Reports even suggest that the insecurity worsened by a significant margin after French troops settled in the country. If these reports by the French spies are correct, it means foreign military forces such as the French forces and the U.S. forces that are invited to help fight against terrorism might just be responsible for it. This therefore means that African leaders across the continent need to thoroughly investigate the activities of the so-called counter-terrorism efforts by Western militaries in their countries. Interestingly, Burkina Faso is not the only African country that is now revealing how France used its troops and agents network to create and plunge the country into insecurity and afterward pretend to help. Recall that during the 78th United Nations General Assembly, the foreign minister of Mali, Abdullahi Diop, told every leader present in the meeting that they had evidence that France was responsible for creating terrorism in the country. In the presence of every world leader present, including France, Foreign Minister Diop recounted how he sent a letter to the President of the United Nations Security Council detailing French support for terrorist groups. The letter contained more than 50 incidents where Malian airspace was deliberately violated by French aircraft. According to Minister Diop, France used these aircraft to deliver weapons and ammunition to terrorist groups in the Sahel region. France knew that if it had asked permission from the Malian authorities, they would have demanded that the aircraft be inspected, which would lead to the discovery of these weapons. This is why they entered the Malian airspace illegally. The letter further stated that the Malian authorities had evidence that France used this airspace violation to gather intelligence to aid terrorist groups and provide them with arms and ammunition. Unfortunately, the United Nations did not respond to the letter and neither did it do anything concerning the issue. The Prime Minister of Mali also supports this claim, saying that he has evidence supporting this statement. According to Prime Minister Maiga, French troops established a stronghold in Kidal, a town in northern Mali, and allegedly handed control of the town to a group reported to have a link to Al-Qaeda. Maiga alleged that the Malian military was barred from entering this territory controlled by France. However, after kicking out French troops from the country, Mali was able to recover that town thanks to the help given by the Russian military. This action of France in supporting terrorist groups and rebel groups responsible for insecurity in the region all because they want to maintain their hold on the region is a shame. Thankfully, the military juntas of Mali, Niger, and Burkina Faso have realized this sham purpose by France and have taken the necessary steps to ensure that they do not fall victim. In Burkina Faso, Captain Traoré has been hard at work in combating the terrorism that France has created and supports. Although the media may say that insecurity has increased since French troops left, the fact is the Burkinabe military has had some resounding success in taking back territories that terrorist groups had previously taken. But the media will not publicize it because they are also in cohorts with the French government, which would use any tactic to ensure that the Traoré administration is undermined. Speaking only of how insecurity has increased and how many more people have been killed since French forces left the country would create the image that it was the French military that was responsible for calming the situation, thereby creating the image that the Burkinabe military is incompetent and not equipped to fight the terrorists on their own. However, the media cannot also deny that research has shown that the insecurity situation was better off before French troops settled in Burkina Faso. Besides that, what do they expect when France is responsible for creating the insecurity in the first place? However, no matter the tactics used by France, Captain Traoré's administration is standing strong, taking the necessary steps to combat terrorism without the help of France. No matter what France does, they will never be accepted back into the country because Captain Traoré is a man on a mission, ready to fight to the death for the complete independence of Burkina Faso. We look forward to when insecurity will be a thing of the past for Burkina Faso and the other countries in the Sahel. What are your thoughts? Let us know in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video.